I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it and it was gross. But to my surprise, something really special happened. I want to share that with you as well. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia, I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life, and I wanna help you find that too. Oh Bubba, every day your hair gets more and more glorious. You look like an 80s rock band star. <laughs> All right, I'll put you down. So, usually over the winter, I do what is called the deep litter method in my coop. And that is a method where you actually have a composting system within your coop. And I love doing that. And the main reason I like to do it, at least over the winter, is because it supplies your chickens with another layer of heat that's being generated in the coop. Because we know that composting material generates heat. You guys joining me in here? All right, come on in. But I have been having a problem this winter and I think it probably has something to do with the rapidly changing temperatures. We had a really cold snap, colder than I have ever experienced in my almost 20 years here in the Pacific Northwest. It was very cold and then the temperatures went up very quickly. And when that happened, the ammonia in my coop really got out of control. I just could not get on top of the ammonia and that is not good for my chickens. So I decided I needed to do a deep clean on my coop. I needed to get the shavings out of my coop. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know that I have a really good friend. Her name is Julie and she usually comes here and helps me clean out the coop. Well, she couldn't make it over this past weekend and I really needed to get it done. So I had to do the whole thing by myself. <laughs> I'm not used to that. You guys know I have struggled with some health stuff. I've struggled with chronic pain. So that's like no small feat for me to do that. But there were some surprising things that happened. I'm gonna show you everything that I did step by step. This is a clean your coop tutorial today, but in order to do that, we have to go back to the future. Actually, we're going to the past, <laughs> but here we go. So the first thing I did after getting all of the chickens out of my coop, even my permanent broody chicken Binky, who was <laughs> very unhappy about having to leave the nesting box, I had to get the coop door open. And this was no easy task because my coop doors, whenever the temperature changes, they are a total pain in the fluffy chicken butt <laughs> to open and close. But eventually I got them open and I was able to assess just how dirty and gross the coop was. It was pretty bad. But anyway, the show must go on. So I tried not to get overwhelmed. The first thing I did was I removed all of my roosts. So many of you out there probably aren't able to remove your roosts from your coop, but this is the way that my coop is designed. I can remove the roosts. If you can't, that's totally fine. You just clean them within the coop like a normal person, but I can remove my roosts, so I did. I also removed a lot of random junk that just started to get collected in the coop. I don't know why that happens, but I feel like wherever I go, I just collect junk. So <laughs> I removed it and I got rid of it later that day. I was also able to remove my nesting boxes and I have these handy plastic nesting boxes. I actually really like plastic nesting boxes because they're so easy to clean. And I have these from My Favorite Chicken and they're super easy to remove. I will leave a link to these in the description, but just remember, you don't have to have fancy nesting boxes. I really like these nesting boxes, but chickens will literally nest <laughs> in just about anything that is cozy. They will lay their egg there. So you could use many different things. You can repurpose different things for your nesting boxes. I just have bougie chickens and I'm kind of bougie. So that's why I have these. Once I got everything out of my coop, I started to turn the existing shavings I had in there. This was the deep litter method that I was doing. I really just wanted to see one more time if there was any hope of salvaging the deep litter method in my coop, but I just kept smelling that ammonia. And please, when you do this, wear a mask. Do as I say, not as I do. I should have been wearing a mask. I just flat out forgot. But I decided I needed to do a full removal of all the shavings. Yeah, there was just too much ammonia. So I made that final decision at that point. So now it was time for me to start cleaning the roosts.
The first thing I did was just scrape them as best as I could, and then I sprayed them down with some water to loosen up some of the debris. Once I did that, I sprayed them with a disinfectant, and I am using something called hypochlorous acid, which is a very gentle disinfectant, but you can use a white vinegar solution, or you can even use a bleach solution. And if you don't have a reason to, you don't have to disinfect at all. Just clean the roost. I'm only doing a little bit of disinfecting because I have chickens that I've adopted from all over the place, I have had illness in my flock, and I just want that extra layer of protection just in case. So while my roofs were drying off, I started wiping down the nesting boxes, and you can see how easy it is to wipe these down. That's why I just love these nesting boxes. And then I also sprayed them with a little bit of disinfectant. And I saved my nesting pads because I had just put new ones in there. These are also from my favorite chicken. I love the nesting pads that they have. After I cleaned the nesting boxes, I started to dust some things off in the coop, and I'm just tidying up a little bit in here. I wasn't super intense about it because you know, after all, it's a chicken coop. And also, I didn't know how my body was going to handle me doing all this work today. So I took it a little bit easy on myself. If I felt a little bit more confident, I probably would have wiped down all the walls. I would have gotten rid of as much staining as possible. I would have cleaned the floor. But it just wasn't time for me to do that. I needed to take care of myself too. So the next job is definitely the hardest job. And it was what I was most nervous about. It was time for me to remove all the shavings from the coop. And remember, I was doing the deep litter method, so this is a lot of shavings. I was pretty overwhelmed at this point because this is the part where I really start to feel like I need help. Not because I don't wanna do it, but because in the past it's been very physically hard for me to do this kind of stuff. As I mentioned in the beginning, I've dealt with some health stuff. I have some autoimmune stuff going on. I've got some chronic pain issues for many, many years. Ages ago, I was injured by an antibiotic that should not have been prescribed to me, but it was. So because of that, I lost some of my mobility and I deal with some chronic pain. But anyway, I knew my chickens didn't care about any of that. <laughs> they did not care and they still don't. They just want to have a clean, healthy coop. So I just did it. I cleaned out all those shavings and I even used a snow shovel for part of it. <laughs> After I cleaned out most of the shavings, I did take a short break and I sprayed down the roost with some mite spray. And I do this every time because I adopt chickens from all over the place and also because the mites are just brutal where I live. So it's just one of those things that I do just in case, even if I don't see mites on my chickens. This is a natural mite spray that I had on hand, but there are several on the market to choose from. And there's even a recipe for a natural mite repellent spray in my book. I will leave that link for you in the description. After giving the coop a quick sweep, I couldn't believe that I had actually gotten all those shavings out of there. I actually did it. At that point, I was like, wow, this is great. I didn't mop the floor or anything. That is okay. I went ahead and I put my clean nesting boxes back in and then I started to spread the new shavings around. And that was such a good feeling, guys. I was so proud of myself and I was actually shocked that I was feeling so good at this point. After I put the shavings down, I put all the roosts back in and they still look totally super dirty, <laughs> you know, when I looked at them. But that's just because they're stained and that's normal. That is what a normal normal chicken coop looks like. This is not an Instagram coop. I do post pictures on Instagram, but I also want people to see the reality of a chicken coop so they don't feel bad about their own situation. This is a normal, real chicken coop, all right? And the chickens did not seem to mind at all. They were super happy just pecking and scratching in it. All right, let's go back to the future now. So after I did all that, I woke up the next day and I really expected to be dead. <laughs> It's like, I am going to wake up dead. I'm not feeling this now, but tomorrow I'm gonna to wake up dead. And I didn't, I woke up alive and I woke up feeling great. And I gotta tell you guys, like, I feel so grateful that I've experienced so much healing in the last few years, especially the last couple of years since we moved out to the country. I've really been feeling good. And it's just a testament to 
how important this connection with nature is to our health and to our happiness, to our stress levels, all that stuff. So I'm feeling really good right now. And I, I just, I didn't want to post this video without sharing that part of it with you. Now, that's not to say that deep cleanings are not tough. It was tough. <laughs> it was not, it wasn't easy. It wasn't like, oh, this is so easy. It was tough. But there are some things that I do basically every day or at least a few times a week that make my deep cleanings easier. And I do think that it's important to do these things because otherwise the deep cleaning will be really hard. You can learn all about the things that you can do every day to make your deep cleanings easier. It's super simple. It takes like five minutes a day and I have a video all about it. It is on the screen right now. And of course, it's 100% friendly, backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it.